Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today I am unfortunately late to wipe, which uh, is quite an uncommon thing for me, to be honest. I was extremely busy on wipe day and of course I still need to get content, so I'm hopping on today. And what I like to do when I join a wipe late is just build a big old base. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I'll live in the snow because, yeah, this base is huge, <laughs> especially for a solo. So I'm going to need a lot of farm. It's going to be fun though. I'm excited. It was early in the morning, the server was quiet, but this gave me the perfect opportunity to play catch up with all the other players on the server. The snow seemed tempting to me to swipe, and on the way was Outpost, a great pit stop to get a small start on the server, so to Outpost I headed. Hitting barrels on the way would give me essential resources like cloth and metal fragments once recycled. This could help me craft weapons which would make my start to life much easier on the server. Oh, free boar. Okay, let's make a crossbow and revolver and uh, head towards the build spot. I waited out the night cycle and then prepared myself for the journey ahead. Finding the ideal build location could prove to be a struggle as all of the perfect spots would already be taken, but I was sure I'd find something suitable. Okay, I made it to the snow, and it's now just about finding a nice flat spot that isn't taken. I'm looking down in these trees, and it's looking kind of promising. Yeah, this looks good. I mean, there is a base there, but I don't think that would be a problem. What's the build radius like on this side? Oh, plenty of room. Hmm. I think I might build right here. Awesome, dude. We have a road just here. We have Arctic Research Base, Power Plant, Harbor if we need, HQM Quarry, which will probably be taken, but we have it there if we need it. I'm mainly living here because I feel like the nodes are going to be crazy. Yeah, let's get straight back out there. Let's farm some stone so we can stone this up. Starter base complete, I took full advantage of the area around me whilst everyone was sleeping, farming resources so my base was in a strong state, and of course focusing the workbenches. If at any stage you enjoyed this video, I would massively appreciate a like or even a sub. We're chasing 100,000 subscribers, which sounds like a long shot, but I believe it's possible with the help of you guys. It would mean the absolute world. Thank you. Okay, not quite enough for a, f for a furnace just yet, but almost. So we're going to go out and just hit some barrels, I guess. Get some crude barrels on the way. Maybe an animal. Jackhammer, jackhammer, jackhammer. Oh. One day that will happen. I'll say jackhammer and I will get one. I know it. I decided to challenge myself this wipe and play one of the most competitive weekly wiped vanilla servers, Blue Lagoon, which just so happened to have a recycler at the fishing village. With this, it would make my progression much smoother and ultimately much faster. I'm actually really looking forward to this wipe for some reason. It's just like, I haven't joined a server late and the potential of like a really good snowball is just really fun to me. I haven't done it in a long time, so I'm looking forward to it. And these barrels are respawning very fast considering how early it is in the day.
Green card. Ah, oh, semi body, really. I need to chase this guy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I think that's one thing about living on this road. I might encounter a lot of barrel farmers, which is a good thing. Quick and easy scrap if I manage to kill them. Oh, that guy's a saw. Uh, I have all my comps on me. I'm not interested in fighting just yet, to be honest. I feel like that might be the guy I just killed. And he definitely just saw me come out of my base, which is not good at all. Best believe, if I didn't have my comps, I'd fight that. But I think it's just a bit too risky. He doesn't see me. Ah, okay, cool. The white camo coming in clutch right there. Three hundred scrap already, huge. Almost at the tier two. Gonna make a metal pickaxe. Get some stone. Let's make ourselves non-flame raidable, and then we are then we are not chilling, but I guess a bit safer. Nice. And as you guys can tell, I've actually put on the building effects again. I just think it's so satisfying. Where is that? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I missed. Ow. Oh, salvage tool. Nice. Oh, there's a car up there, look. <laughs> Seal ourselves in and then we'll hatchet this out. As a way up, I'm just gonna just gonna use this barrel. Should work fine, yeah. Oh my word! Oh, this is decaying. Might be able to raid this at some point. I managed to get home safely, waited for night to pass, and then head towards the HQM quarry to see if it was taken. I didn't have any plans to wall it off, but I would definitely want to run it in the future if I could. I also want to see if HQM quarry has been walled in, because if it hasn't, then I'll be able to collect diesel from power plant and run it, which would be huge. And of course farm along the way, because this base wasn't going to farm itself. Damn. Oh. Yeah, this is perfect. That's good information. Good to know. <laughs> All right. Free double door. Thanks. Thanks, game. I'm dead. Damn. Is he going to take the horse? That would be a shame. Yeah, he took the horse. Okay, fair enough, honestly, fair enough. I was in touching distance of a tier 2 workbench, which would allow me to craft much better weapons and armour. One good scrap run and I would be able to place it down. So once again, I took to the road.
There's a large box and a small box in here. Uh, I need to raid this. I need to go get some Molotovs. I'm pretty sure I have the BP. I'm, I, I have to check that out. Placing my tier 2, I crafted a gear set to go along with my SAR and of course a Molotov to see what was inside of this legacy shack. Oh, I feel like they moved out. Oh! Never mind. Dude, that was really good actually. I might make a hammer and take this large box. First ready the wipe. Was a success, I would say. There we go, now we're all honeycomb, looking good. Oh, suppressor, that's cool. Uh, custom guy. I'm just gonna make my way back to my base. Don't mind me. Hold up. Some guy's farming barrels. I'm just gonna wait here like a little rat. Sorry, boss. There we go, we have a second floor. Oh yes. There's so much space in here to do whatever we like. Look at all this space. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There's a guy to my right. Oh, dude, I almost whiffed that out. This guy had meds but a hunting bow. They just called me a junkie. What? Come on, come on, kill me first. 
Junky. I have not heard that word in forever. Junky. <laughs> The only problem, I don't have roof access just yet. Kind of scary entering and exiting my base. Anyone could be anywhere, especially because I live in the trees as well. I hit him barrels. Do you have a weapon? I think he might have a saw. Wow, <laughs> I am appalled by my aim. That is dreadful, yeah. Lank, I've killed this guy before. He is not going to be happy. He's not going to shoot because he wants to get in the safe zone. I could shoot him though. Oh, fair enough. That's good shots from him. Oh, fair play, man. Honestly. Ah, this is his teammate. Okay. Oh, okay. They're together. It's blank. Yeah. My area was getting more and more populated as time went on. This meant one thing, I needed to be so much more cautious when out exploring, especially now I knew I wasn't alone. I headed back out as fast as I could to try and catch this duo on their way back to their base. Oh, GG's, dude. No way. Where's his gun? No. Oh, I don't know where his gun is. No way. Well, this just got interesting. Just falling short, I failed to get back what I had lost. This was my first real upset on the server, but luckily I had a custom SMG kit I could use to try and rebound. First off, I upgraded my base slightly more as now my base location was revealed to a nearby team. So yeah, this roof access stuff is not cheap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, people can still get in. Um, in fact, can they? Actually, I'm not even sure they can, you know. Sweet, at least I now have roof access. And just enough stone to complete it all. I was in need of low grade, so I crafted a saw and took some crude oil over to power plant to smelt. 
Also keeping a lookout for diesel as I could run this at the HQM quarry later on. Oh, this diesel's been taken. And of course there's just the bear here. Like, why wouldn't there be, right? Any more diesel? Yes. That's 150 HQM right there. Wow, not one military crate to spawn either. Kinda sucks. Love that, let's go. I'm literally getting camped. Okay. He was soft siding something. Could he possibly have been soft siding? <laughs> Strange. Okay, we're almost fully sheet metal in here. Just need to do these walls. Don't actually have enough metal right now, though. Kind of running low. That could give me a tech trash, actually. This is where I'm slightly worried because someone could crawl under my door and... Yeah. Yeah, I look fine. Thankfully. There we go. Got the HQM smelting. Laugh is good. I would say we're pretty secure, honestly. Oh, shotgun trap, that's pretty nice. was that? That very much sounded like M2 to me. Unless that was the distant LMG sound, I'm not too familiar with it. Wow, fair enough, actually. And it was M2. There was another anyway. Oh my god, you're kidding me. I mean, I've got to respect that he absolutely destroyed me. <laughs> Damn. I stick to what I've said and what I have always said is go white. <laughs> go white in the snow. Bang, bing, bong. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, let's go for a quick recycle. Take what we're never going to use. Voila. Oh, hello. Question is, could I stash my stuff and go and fight? I'm so tempted. I just like PvP, okay, guys? I think that guy has a saw. Guys, this is going to be getting weird. This is going to get weird. I didn't even stash my stuff. Oh, I'm so bricked. No, <laughs> so bricked. I didn't even stash my stuff. I. Th oh my god. Uh, okay.
I guess he was loaded or something. Even though he was naked. Yep, hello, mate. Um, this guy's really, really good, considering I'm almost out of render. Wow. That was incredible, <laughs> to be honest. What the hell? Well, I don't know why I wasn't looted, but I'm not really going to complain. Not sure why I can't place it to the left or the right. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's strange, though. I guess it acts as an airlock as well. Yeah, it works. As more and more people populated the area, the threat of a raid was much higher. I felt pretty safe and I didn't think one was coming, but as a precaution, I decided to build both external tool cupboards and gatehouses. And these are kind of complicated, really, for externals. I always get paranoid building as a solo man. Just never know what's around. <laughs> hmm, this is going to be awkward because of the terrain. This ain't going to work, I don't think. Yeah, there's not enough stability. Ah, oh, dude, I hate this. Does that work? That looks so goofy, but it might work. Wait. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> yes, we found a way. That only took like two seconds. We can destroy all this. Oh, that's really good. I like that. Yes, yes. And it doesn't obstruct the vision or anything, which is so good. Replicating this on the other side would be much easier as the terrain was thankfully more forgiving. Just need to go four out and yeah, let's see. Yes, we can. That is good news. That is good news, my friends. I have a feeling this is also on, like, the absolute build height. Which is good, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to do that. Look at that. Looking good. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now in a position to compound, I farmed a ton of wood and began this process. This would make my base stand out more, but also keep me much safer. Get me inside. I'm hearing a barrel farmer. Hurry up, we'll craft, 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 craft. Oh, I think this guy might be loaded. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Oh my god. <laughs> what the flip? <laughs> 225 base scrap.
That is perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Surprisingly, I haven't really killed any material farmers. Like, I've killed scrap farmers, but I haven't really run into anyone other than that. It could be worth a raid, that base, you know. It's not decaying. There was a few bases in my area that intrigued me. I would need sulfur, and right now, I didn't have too much of that, so I guess the raids would have to wait. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I guess we just like that. Hey. Oh, it's coming along so nicely. Love it. <laughs> I wish the range on Fishing Village was higher. That would be funny. Give me that trash. No. Okay, I really want to set up electric furnaces, like, real bad. For that to be possible, I'm going to need tech trash. So I'm going to head over to Power Plant and hope for the best. The guy down to my right appears to have... I'm not sure. He's seen me. He might have a pistol. I have a feeling. I don't know though. Maybe it's decayed loot from that base over there. Or maybe it's absolutely nothing. Let's see. He might live in that 2 by one actually. That is absolutely ridiculous. Guys, if you can see my face right now, my eyebrows are raised. What? It's funny because a minute ago I was saying how I haven't killed a farmer yet. Wow. Oh, diesel. Nice. Okay, I'm seeing crates, which is a good sign. No tech trash, I can't go up there, I don't have enough rads. Oh, again, three diesel. Let's just bounce with that. Oh, I think it would be rude to not use up the materials that kind, kind of man farmed for me. So, <laughs> I'm going to get to work doing that. Oh no, I messed up. I can't place this wall frame. No! <laughs> because I've already placed the barricades. Ah, oh, it's fine. It is what it is. I can sort that out. Or I can work around it, I suppose. shouldn't have to do that to place those roofs, it's so frustrating.
There we go, plenty of low grade. I really want electric furnaces now, dude. So bad. So bad. Okay, the base is basically done besides upgrades. Now I just need to fill this bad boy up to the brim with guns and loot. That's the plan. But first I need to see how we're looking. How are we looking? Oh yeah, that looks pretty menacing. This is actually, this is actually a trio base, believe it or not. All built by a little solo. Living in by a little solo as well. And I'll wait to place that one because I don't know if I'll be able to get to the power out. But yeah, uh, I've made a nice kit. Let's go and see what we can find. That was unexpected in my opinion. Retreat, retreat. Oh, well, welcome to the base, MP5. I have not seen that name before either, so I don't know what where they live or anything. Go back out there quickly. Wait, hold up. Phones can give me tech trash, right? If I'm not mistaken. So that, oh my god, this burst thing is so broken. What the hell? Wow. Well, there they are. These guys are really actually quite good. These guys are really good players, gotta respect it. Well played. It's a shame this MP5 is basically broken, but what can you do? That is the reason I love this game though, that actually had my heart racing. And I have thousands and thousands of hours. <laughs> And I really need metal cooking because I have four hours of upkeep. That is not good. The desperation for electric furnaces was real. I needed metal fast and I also needed tech trash for solar panels and a battery. In the meantime, I got my normal furnaces running and then continued to hunt for said tech trash. Well, I would try. Oh, right, okay. Um, what the? <laughs> okay, this might be a throw. 
The turrets didn't shoot the crossbow guy, so they shouldn't shoot me, right? Ooh, I'm okay. No tech trash, but a bunch of other stuff, I guess. I'll take it. Just add these boxes here, sort of depot storage. Like we have the barrels, but then in here we also have these, which is nice. Wow, that guy's got an eagle eye. Oh look, Arctic Hazmat, Arctic Hazmat coming this way. Yeah, he's just gonna keep coming, isn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna sit right here. Oh, it wasn't an Arctic Hazmat. Dude, I'm seeing things. <laughs> okay. That's enjoyable. Dude, wow, okay. That's annoying. I mean, I guess I can check for they left anything on my body, which they obviously didn't. Yes, guys, from that fight, look what we came back with. Yes! Let's go! That's all sorted, just need the actual power. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Only problem is now I've got a fat RPG on my back. <laughs> That's all the tech trash I will need. Two for a solar panel, or sorry, two for two solar panels and a battery. Just need to get home. Oh, let's go. That's so good, though. We finally got the tech trash. Finally. Kind of has to go there, to be fair. Okay. Yes. Now we have power. It was good. Can finally get through all of this, all of this metal we've been stacking up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna raid this. I don't really have my hopes up high for this raid. However, I could take it over as a flank base at the same time. So it's like, eh, you know, it's one of them. All right, let's go see what this this uh, bad boy has in store for us. It'll probably be three satchels, to be fair, to get into that first door. I'll chuck two and I'll see where we're at. Sheet metal door and a code lock, like... Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Okay. 
very bad. Okay, I mean, yeah, this was trash, but it is what it is, man. I fell ANK flank. Next base on my list is that one up there. Can't see it yet. That one. That one isn't decaying, and it could not be juiced, but it could have something in it. Definitely something more than what I just raided. I'm just hoping that the Molotov raid on the shack I did towards the start of the wipe isn't the best raid I'll do this wipe. <laughs> I hope something tops that. Oh, this thing is decaying now. Wow. Ah, not the metal though. Not the metal. Again, it's code lock, double door. Is there a double door here? Nah. Nah, there's no, there's no frame in there. Unless it's wood or sheet metal. Yeah, we'll raid that one as well. Why not, man? Uh, okay, I've just heard about a million satchels. I've just come back from some food. I need to go. I'm all fueled up. I'm all energized. The furnaces are still... Wait. Yep, they've still got plenty of fuel left. Let's go. I heard multiple satchels in the distance, so of course I decided to head over. Little did I know what silly business I would get myself involved in. It's in a yoker. What? What is he shooting at? What is going on? Oh my god. What am I looking at? I'm dead. If I'm actually dead. I, I can't kill him. Because I'm going to get absolutely flattened. Oh, this is actually going to be jokes. This is going to be jokes. Here we go. And after that small detour, it was time to raid the base. Here we go. Nice. Is it empty? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh lord. One Molotov raid has been better than both of these combined. Oh. And it wasn't even a Molotov raid on an actual base. Oh. I'm so depressed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no way. This base is gone. Oh, it did get raided, though. Oh. Little four man. Oh, what? He never broke TC. Weird. Wait, I almost want to break TC. Then I can pick up the tier two. Sell it. Yeah, let me do that. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Why would they not raid the TC? Why? <laughs> oh my god, that is crazy. That is crazy. I'll make a, a vending machine bunker thingy. There we go, no one can access that unless they soft side that, which I mean, they can if they want. It'll just take forever. What does he have?
AK. <laughs> Fair enough. Why would you push that knowing I have a double barrel? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> it really doesn't. Do I just have unlimited boom? Holy shit, this would have been loaded as well. Dude, this is crazy. They are leaving so much. Like, what? I'm so lost. Are they that stacked as a group? That they don't need this sort of stuff? Finally, the TC is looking nice and healthy. Sun is not in a good spot. Mm. You know what, we're just going to leave it. We're just going to go multicolored. <laughs> yeah, I think this might be the guy that I killed for the whole inventory of farm, but I don't know. I feel like it is. Is it loaded? No, it's not. No, it's all open. Ah. Fantastic. Oh. Do you reckon this is the camper? to make sure I got that kill. Oh, it's a raid. Okay, I think I'm out of there. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, oh my god. Why did I go for that backpack? That's such a brain dead play. That's such a dumb play. No way. I didn't even know I was right there. That is weird. Wife.
hell is this? This is awkward. I'm going to fight from in here. Just because it's funny. I don't care about the outcome. Let's just have a bit of fun. Dropped. I'm so dead. <laughs> I see the AK. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Honestly. After this, I decided to log off for the day after a 15 hour session. Just in case I was to get offline, I decided to give you guys a little tour of the base I had created. Again, the link will be down in the description. Well, I didn't get offline, however, as it was third day of wipe, the pop had plummeted down to around 40 players, which to be honest would be no fun for me to play and for you guys to watch. So I decided to end my adventure here. I really hope you guys did enjoy this one and I appreciate you watching to this point. Thank you all so much and I'll see you next Sunday.